I am at McDonald's. Good morning, Matthew. I'm picking up a DoorDash order 101. Come on around. All right, thank you. Good morning, guys. So it is Saturday. It is like six, about six thirty in the morning, and we are getting an early start on DoorDash today. Um, there's a lot that I need to do coming up this week. I have a lot of shows and stuff coming up, so I need the extra cash. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys this is another DoorDash vlog. Uh, we're at McDonald's picking up our order, and yeah, guys. Hey. Have a good day, hun. Thank you, you too. So, I got the order. And let me show you guys in case you forgot. Because I think I might delete my first DoorDash vlog. Because that just, it wasn't a really good vlog. And I didn't stay out long enough to really make any money. So, this is what it's looking like so far. I have to hit confirm. Which is at the bottom in the red. So that I can figure out what directions to go into. And this order was for $5. Um, and it's four minutes away from here. Which is really good. So we're going to go ahead and hit and drop this order off. And then we're going to see what the app is doing. I'm going to show you guys in just a second. Alright guys. So we are at our first drop off. Which again was the McDonald's order for what? $5. Um, it was just a few minutes away from McDonald's. Which was really good. Um, they're asking me to just sit the order outside the door. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like in case you're just wondering. I think it said it was like 43 or 48. So I have to go back and look and see what the door number is. It was 43. So that should be down below. Um, so here it is. And let me flip the camera around so y'all can see. So the order's right here. And then what I do is hit complete the delivery steps, take a photo, and I select from my camera. Oh, it's on me. Hi, guys. <laughs> That's funny when it does that. And then you just take a quick picture, hit OK, complete the delivery. <clears throat> guys, it'd be moving slow sometimes. And then I just hit confirm. And then that is the amount that I already made on my first dash this morning. I'll see you guys in the car. So I just got back in the car. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. It is saying that the hot spot is still near McDonald's. So what I usually I don't chase the hot spots, but today I think it's a good idea. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of GPS this nearest McDonald's. And it's just kind of like head that way. Hopefully... I can get an order like before I even get there from either another place or to the place that I'm going to or not. But, you know, it's worth a try. This morning, uh, we're going to be doing deliveries until about maybe about 10. So from what, 630-ish to 10. We'll see how much money we make. And then I have to take my daughter to um, cheer practice. I actually might take you guys with me and just make this like an all-day vlog because when I get done with her cheer practice, I actually am going to be coming back out and doing deliveries again. Um, because like I said, I need to come up on at least about $400 <laughs> within these next couple of days. And DoorDash has been really slow here lately. So yeah, guys, um, this is going to be one of those days where I just really have to just be outside. So guys, just wish me luck and let's make some money. If you made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. There's also other channels of mine. I have, um, this is on my family channel. I have a makeup channel as well as a, um, adult content channel <laughs> i don't really know how to describe that channel but check the description box guys and i would love to see you guys on other uh channels of mine okay um because right now this channel is just about growing and just doing what we got to do for our family so all right so this mcdonald's is four minutes away it's taking me to the same mcdonald's that i went to to pick this first order up which is really good so i'm kind of hoping we get an order before we get there but i will let you guys know once i okay so literally as soon as i got to mcdonald's the um 
hot spot change to Walgreens. I decided to just sit here um, at the Kroger's that's next to McDonald's. And what I want to say is I just want to give some quick advice while we wait on the next order. Um, there is a trick to doing DoorDash. And I want to say the trick is to be patient. Um, there's going to be days that are super, super slow. And then there's going to be other days that are just booming and you're doing great. But you really don't know what day you're going to have. Like, just get out here and get what you can get. And then take yourself a nice little break and then get, get back to it because one thing that I've noticed about DoorDash in my area, I'm in the Kentucky area, is if it's very slow in the morning, like during breakfast and lunch, dinner time, like dinner hours usually start to boom. Oh, so we got another order. Let's see what this is for. And today I'm pretty much taking orders. Lord, this is a Chick-fil-A order, guys, for... 11.75 but for 20.2 miles that's ridiculous um that's far that's very very far i can't believe someone would make you do that um i'm actually not going to take that because it's just too far 20 miles for 11 dollars is not enough money for me so i'm hitting decline and then it's going to ask me why and i'm saying the distance is too far because it is i mean no so they just gave me another order for five dollars for five miles and we're gonna take that because that's way better and i know it's like okay eleven dollars versus five dollars it's not the amount eleven dollars is a really really good tip it's the miles plus gas ratio so you got to do your own math on that um so i'm gonna go and pick this order up guys and i will see you in a second Okay guys, so we just got here to the other McDonald's, which actually was not in the same area um, as the one that I was sitting next to, literally. Um, but we are here, I'm pulling around this parking lot. Um, it took me about, what, about eight minutes to get to this McDonald's over here. Um, so I'm just gonna safely assume that the drop-off should be fairly close so when you pull up to McDonald's they make you do the order number which this order number is 686 instead of using their name so one second let's do this thank you to the McDonald's are you using your mouth words after this no I'm picking up a DoorDash 686 you said DoorDash yep What's your last year again? 686. 686? Uh-huh. All right, I'll head for a round for me, please. Thank you. Let's see, he was very nice. I feel like the other lady was just like, all right, pull around. And it's like, it's so early in the morning. Like, can we just get good customer service no matter, no matter what? So um, we're gonna pick this order up and then I'm gonna let you guys know how far away from this McDonald's this order is. So I'll see you guys in just a second. So we got the McDonald's order. This is McDonald's number two. Usually this early, you're gonna get a lot of fast food runs. It is what it is. But we're gonna go ahead and confirm the order. Confirm. And we're gonna see how far away this is from me from right now, which is three minutes. Oh, hold on. I don't know how, oh, <laughs> there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this order off, guys, and I'll see you just in a second. Um. Okay, so I'm here dropping off um, this orders at the hospital. So I got their McDonald's order. And what I'm going to do is just take it to the front desk and just sit it there and let them know that their order is here. Hey. I'm just doing a drop off. Thank you. Huh? I vlog. YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we're done with that order. You guys see I don't have my phone. Um, usually I come to this hospital so much, like I just know where to go and how to do it here. But I'm back in the car and what I'm gonna do is I sent the uh, person a text message already, letting them know that, okay, hey, I'm here. Your order is gonna be placed at the front desk. I usually do that for all hospital orders because I just, I get sick very easy, so I try not to walk around um, in hospitals too much, especially since I don't have a mask. 
Um, then we're going to hit complete the delivery and confirm, and we're going to just go ahead and move on. Now it's saying that the hot spot is near Wild Eggs. So I'm pretty sure if I drive towards this particular Wild Eggs that I'll get a Wild Egg order. So we're going to just go there and hang it. Oh, uh, they just gave me another McDonald order. This one is for $2.75 for 2.8 miles, which is literally not much. Um, who I hate when it's small like this. I'm I'm not gonna take it because I feel like I'm just not gonna take it. It doesn't sit right with my spirit. I'm not gonna take it because I feel like they didn't tip and it's just like the DoorDash app actually paying you to pick it up. So I'm gonna hit decline this order and the reason why I'm gonna put it is too small. So we're gonna just go ahead and do what I originally said I was about to do, which is drive towards Wild Eggs and see if we get an order there. So we just got another order for Krispy Kreme for six fifty, and that's for fourteen miles. And they're trying to take me out St. Matthews. I I really don't want to go in that that area today, mainly because when I hit St. Matthews, it's just no and then the distance is way over what they paid like that's kind of how i pick my orders guys like if it's if they're if they're far and they're paying me less than the miles i really try not to take it now if they're paying me the same as the miles i kind of pick and choose like okay the area uh, maybe i can hit it real quick and get back where i'm trying to be at but i'm just not going to do that one either so they just sent me a message saying oh you missed the delivery opportunity guys i already know <laughs> just i just not today's not the day to waste gas like we're gonna really strategize our order today so that we can actually win so so far we made wait like 10 25 that's okay for me for right now it's early the orders is moving slow it's seven o'clock like I'm fine with that. So I'm going to see you guys when I get another order. So I had my original dash to end at 7.30. Um, it is now 7.30. So what I did is I signed back in. So now when, every time you sign back in, it's going to refresh you to zero. Now the money does move over into your dasher account. So that doesn't mean that you did not make any money. But I do want to get on here and kind of, kind of like explain something real fast. Um every dasher has their own strategy they have their own routine see i got my wild egg order for 625 for three miles so that order that we passed up um a while ago we just made that money back um and it's gonna be a quick fast drop off but before i even go in here and get this guy and plus look i finally put some lip gloss on y'all are gonna start to see me wake up more and more and more and more the more i wake up the hyper i get okay um but okay anyway let me tell you guys the strategy that i use because like i said every dasher does something different so weekend when i dash it's very different for me to do it during the week i'm starting to do more dasher vlogs so you'll be able to kind of pick up my routine here soon but saturdays uh, when I drop my fiance off at work, it's already like six something in the morning. So immediately from that point on, I turn my app on and I stay within his job area just because it's easier and I get straight to it. So between the hours of, I want to say between six and nine o'clock, I don't just take every single order. I will skip over orders, even if the amount's big, if the distance is too far, I'm going to skip the order and the reason being is because between these hours in my area orders are very very slow so I don't want to waste too much gas I don't want to waste money on gas so if it just if it doesn't make sense it's not going to I'm just not going to do it so I try to take orders that are that I will actually spend about 10 minutes on so picking up dropping off picking up dropping off 10 minutes quick fast order quick fast money you do not want to slave yourself first thing in the morning you just don't my husband's texting me telling me to have a good day he's like yeah we got this we be giving each other a lot of motivational <laughs> speeches like almost every morning to keep each other going because like we'd be really stressed out sometimes but it's nice having a partner but um you don't want to stress yourself out first thing in the morning during DoorDash. like take it slow and take it easy 
um, during lunch hours, you will start to see me pick up orders that are further away. And the reason that I do that is because around that time you have a lunch rush. More than likely, you'll, you'll get orders a lot faster. So around this time, no, orders are not coming in very quick. So I need to actually take my time and choose my orders wisely. Whereas lunch, orders will be faster. I can make my money a lot faster. So I'm okay with driving a little ways out, dropping that order off because I know once I drop that order off, I can make I can dash in that area and more than likely get another order and just keep going. Um dinner hours, same thing. You're more than likely going to get better orders around dinner time so around this time that i'm doing it i will be like ignoring a lot of orders and i just wanted to kind of explain that hopefully it makes sense but yeah we're gonna go and get this order out of wild eggs i'm not gonna take you guys inside wild eggs with me because this particular location it just be a lot going on like people trying to get breakfast and get seated and stuff and i just don't want to have that pressure of me vlogging to throw off the scenery and the rotation you know the vibes of the area because i just you know sometimes when people see vloggers they just instantly shut down and i feel like this is one of those environments where people would kind of shut down a little bit so i'm gonna respect the environment and i'm gonna grab this order and then we're gonna see how far away this drop off is guys when i get back hey so i do have the wild eggs order uh, we're gonna go ahead and confirm this order. So I'm gonna show you guys again how to do that So you go on you hit confirm 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 go to the address guys. Hopefully you didn't see their address and it's nine minutes away um That is a little bit more than I would no actually no we're right We're right. This is actually perfect because it's under 10 minutes I got the food, which was I was already right here. So yeah, guys, let's go and drop this order off. And this was like for like six something. So yeah, I'll see you when we get there. Uh, I finally decided to just cover up the address just out of safety. But you see how it says leave at my door? That is how you know what to do. Leave it at their door, hand them the order, put it on the desk. It's like whatever, you know, that's going to tell you what to do. So let's go in and drop this off. and drop this order off is at door 109 and I'm going to be showing you guys again how to do that <laughs> I hope this vlog is not boring like y'all just spending the day with me literally doing DoorDash yeah. well I guess if you're here you that means you like it I don't know Well, thank you. Okay, well, sometimes they will come and just grab the order, so we didn't have to take a picture or anything. So there's an option on here that says complete delivery and handed it to the customer. So that's the option I'm going to select. But most of the times, if it's, oh, guys, she ended up giving, hold on, she ended up giving a little bit more. So that is good. I love when they do that and they go in and tip you more. Um, I lost my train of thought. Hold on, guys. Let me get my thoughts together. <clears throat> so, she ended up tipping more. Remember, this order was for like $6. It is now $8.25. So, either she tipped more or DoorDash decided to tip me more. I really don't know and I really don't give a shit. Um, as long as I got it. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I just hit hand it to customer. It is saying that the hot spots now is near Walgreens, near Big Breakfast, near First Watch. Um, I'm probably not going to drive to any of these. What I'm going to do is drive to Biscuit Belly, which is one of the most popular breakfast places. So since they are now open, that's where I'm going to go because I should be getting some bangers in that area. So this is where orders should start to kind of pick up a little bit. So I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, guys. So this is dangerous. I was literally in the middle of heading to, um, Biscuit Belly and they gave me another order so i just stopped like at the stop sign <laughs> so that i can accept or deny this order so i'm trying to open up my app this order is for 525 and it is for four miles so i'm going to hit accept 
and then the map is going to just automatically reroute me from where I was trying to go to where I need to be at so yeah um, we're gonna head over there and pick this order up this should be a very very quick drop off um, so I'm super excited about that yeah guys money 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 um, I'm really hoping between today and tomorrow I can reach my goal of making like $400 y'all because it's been so slow on this app here lately so um, I'm just hoping something shakes but you guys we'll, we'll figure it out sooner or later right <laughs> but I'll get this order and then I'm gonna let you guys know how far this order is I'll see you in just a sec okay so we just picked up this DoorDash order for I forgot the amount but we're gonna hit confirm confirm and we're gonna see how far away it is and it is two minutes away guys um I do want to go ahead and say this really fast when DoorDash put the like the miles uh, for the order it is for the total amount of miles to the restaurant and to the drop off so pick up and drop off it's all in those miles okay so you might drive a little further for the restaurant and then the, um, the drop off is around the corner or you know vice versa so just thought I would throw that out there guys so I will see you at drop off okay guys so the drop off was literally literally around the corner like it was so fast um the lady actually met me outside and i didn't get a chance to pick my camera up but i'm gonna go ahead and confirm out the order and it was a handed to me order anyway so it's fine um but yeah it was so freaking close like i love when orders are very very close we already have another order for first watch it is for 850 and the total miles is five miles guys so we're definitely taking this order um it is saying that first watch is four minutes away so yeah let's go pick this up and i'm going to actually record me going into first watch and getting this order so i'll see you in a second bye i legit don't know if i showed you guys this but we are at first watch now and you're supposed to hit arrive at the store anytime you actually get there before confirming your pickup. So I kind of just want to show you guys that. Oops. So now we are here. Yeah. It's starting to get a little hot outside. Like I feel like the lighting. Y'all can see me now. So I'm just gonna walk in and pick this order up let them know who i have a pickup for um i'm getting to that point where i'm getting a little bit hungry but i usually do i fast during the morning so i don't even eat and it's not even time for me to eat yet anyway but yeah i'm like getting a little hungry guys oh, thank you so much Place is pickle, bro. Um, so yeah hey i'm picking up a doordash for diane Thank you. You have a great day. Thanks. <laughs> she said makes lots. Of, uh, she said make lots of money. So she's manifesting too. So per usual, we got the order. We're gonna hit confirm. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the directions. So from here, her drop off is eight minutes away. So we're gonna hit in that direction, and I will see you guys in a second. What you say? You look pretty today, baby. I look pretty. You kiss. Mm. So, baby's about to ride with me. We about to go to uh, Wendy's, and then they have sent me uh, the McDonald's order. So we gotta go to two different. Oh, go Chris. Time <laughs> oh, oh shoot, his manager, y'all. Leve. <laughs> <laughs> he snuck out of work, y'all. Just like he's just, he's, he be ready to come home. He be ready to be with me, y'all. Yeah, yeah, baby. He's behind us. He's in the. In the yeah, in he's the still behind us. Don't let him. Who I gotta get paid? <laughs> you gotta get paid. <laughs> they don't know he. Oh, so you ain't clock out. You just riding. All right, well, if you gave yourself away, you better hope they don't watch our family channel. All right, we'll see y'all. <laughs> Guys, it's literally like 4:50, and look at this. 
my phone is on 11 percent and my car charger is not working for some reason it's just not charging my phone so unfortunately i have to go home and i decided since i gotta go home and charge my phone i'm probably just not even gonna come back out but i will be vlogging tomorrow for you guys which is gonna be sunday and we're just gonna set a whole new goal even though we didn't get to uh reach our goal for today it's okay it's all fun and games um i made it to i think like 120 dollars for today so i think that's all right you know what i'm saying it is it's better than what it's been so you guys thank you so much for watching this video i'm about to go and get me something to eat head home charge my phone and just spend time with my family and i'll see you guys tomorrow for a whole new day of dashing with more bye guys